Hello YouTube, I'm Vlad and this will be a tutorial on how to open and clean this laptop. This is a Toshiba C850. Um, okay, let's do it. Now, rule number one, and this is the most important one, always remove the battery. Because reasons. Okay, and rule number two, do not... Uh, do not do what I just did, so that's not a good thing and a smart thing to do, okay. So we're we'll removing the hard drive and I'm gonna go like this, okay, so time for the screws, all of the screws should be removed. You can place them in a order you remove them or you don't have to because all of these seem to be the same so we'll see okay there are quite a lot of screws but since they're all of the same uh, length, there is no uh, need for you to uh, <sighs> to put them in groups because, as I've just said, they're all of the same length. This is this one screw in here, and your uh, drive is out. And uh, let's see. A couple of more screws. same again the same length and width so okay this okay so all of these screws are removed which is nice there is just one here and no better yeah this one is not okay and there is one here and I think that's about it yeah so after the screws are removed, you will probably need to remove the keyboard, I think. Just let me see. Yes, and uh, I think that this keyboard has these. What are these? These are some I don't know, hinges or something. Okay, let's see. How does this one open? Does it open from the bottom or from the star, from the top? Let's see. Just a second. Okay, so let's see. What does this look like? Okay. You'll need a prying tool or something like that to open this. However, I do think that this will have to be removed from... ...the top, just... Let's see... Yes, um... You have a... In here you have a... This is like a, some kind of a hinge, I suppose. And you can press from beneath to uh, remove the keyboard. Just a second. Okay, this is um, one. You can place something under the keyboard, I suppose. Yeah. And there are a few of those. Okay, just to see. There must be some other screws in here, I think. No other screws. Okay. Then we should somehow remove the keyboard. Okay, um, let's see. Sorry for making this video longer than necessary. However, I, I 
actually never opened this one before and uh, Okay, so yes, there are some plastic in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one and another one and yeah, the keyboard is out. Okay, now beware there's a contact to this one and just remove it by uh, just pressing this thing up okay so now once you have removed the keyboard um, as you can see the keyboard was uh, let's see the keyboard was attached like this so it should have probably been moved to the left but it's irrelevant okay now open and remove the screws that are on top this is this is actually a fuse and you can uh, if the power stops working in your laptop I think this one is for the battery I think there are two but if 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 it's a problem with the uh, power this could be the reason okay so another one of the screws I remove these connectors and remove them by just pressing it up and injecting it. Also this one, this is a touchpad. There are usually a couple of those. Okay, let's see. Oh, there is one more in here, one more screw. And I think this should be it. I think I might be wrong though. Okay, uh, <laughs> now let's see whether from the top or from the bottom. I really do not know, but uh, we'll see. I think actually this is yeah, the bottom part that removes. Let's try it with the prime tool. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to using this thing. Okay, uh -huh. okay, all right, and yeah. So you have removed the uh, Top, that's actually bottom and uh, it's quite easy from now on this is quality plastic I suppose remove a couple of screws from your CPU seriously but <laughs> the plastic yeah okay so these are a couple of screws We'll be wanting to remove and uh, remove the power supply for the fan. Also unscrew the fan. Again, is the same size as the uh, every other screw in here. And this is uh, ah, this is uh, thermal paste, which is not pasty anymore. And as you can see, this fan is quite dirty. Next, what you should do is unscrew these. These are for the fan. Okay. Sorry. It is quite hard to uh, to 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 do this and look at the camera as well. And when you open this, there is a dirt in here. And as you can see, this one is actually not that dirty, to be honest. But it's not clean. So, okay. Next, what you need is a brush that I actually had, but now it um, disappeared. Okay, here it is. And basically, what you should do is just remove this and uh, well I'm not going to be doing it over the laptop but uh, I'll be doing this thing on my trash can but what I should do is just clean clean the fan maybe blow a bit in it and it should look like this so now it's clean again and this thing is clean again and you can do uh, I think 
some fans can, some cannot. Uh, this one, I think, cannot. Okay, if you can remove this moving part, uh, you can put some oil in it. But as you can see, this one is moving quite nicely. And again, now we're going to be placing these screws back. So it's actually a quite easy job. Um, yeah, this one uh, has a display adapter, which it seems it does not need neither thermal paste nor thermal pad. That's nice. It does mean it's a shitty car, but uh, this laptop will probably last forever, or well, until. Uh, until the plastic uh, fails and obviously you can see that as you did see plastic did start failing so next thing what we'll need to do is to clean the CPU, CPU this is the CPU I have uh, thermal pads which I bought off of eBay they're small but I do not need the bigger ones, so these are alcohol pads. I'm sorry, I said the thermal. And when you clean the CPU, you probably need to clean this thing as well. Okay. Now bear in mind, this is I wouldn't say a good thermal paste, but uh, not that bad because usually. After a while, this thermal paste turns to rock, and uh, then it's even harder to clean. So, okay, next thing. What we need uh, is fresh thermal paste, and just apply one small line. You can either smudge it or not. It's it's actually whatever, this is basically too much thermal paste, but it will not it will not harm your laptop. So there is you could probably put a bit less of it, but when your CPU gets hot it will just move outside this copper heatsink so it's not something you should be worrying about. And that's about it. The fan is clean, it should connect um, this uh, connector and also screw down this. It's a fan. And just now, I should probably clean this as well. Just so it's not dirty, and uh, now when it's done, just put this thing back, and this thing will. Ah, just a second. Yeah, high quality plastic, excellent. This thing will just get back to its. Uh, just let me see which one has actually failed. This one, and 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 and. Yeah, only one. Well. And this thing just made this shitty sound because it is a shitty plastic and that's about it. Now open uh, the laptop and uh, reconnect everything and screw down this uh, top part. So let's put this thing back just to show you how to put on the keyboard. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, this is the uh, one. Okay, let's put it here. Let's put it here. Let's put it here. Maybe this one goes from underneath. Who knows? Seriously. This is the shittiest plastic ever. Oh well. 
and this is basically it. All I should do now is just screw everything. Um, screw every screw there is, and that's about it. I hope you like this video, and uh, I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, this plastic is shitty, and the older the laptop gets, it will it will fall apart more. So. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Something that does not happen to Apple laptops. Well, actually, MacBook White uh, falls apart uh, big time, but uh, MacBook Pro does not. So, uh, oh, let me see, this one is the one that fell apart. Okay, only these two, which are, I think, upper ones fell apart what can you do so just press and push so you hear this clicking sound and that's about it I suppose hope you like this video if you did and if you did find it useful thumbs up if not thumbs down I would like to hear your comments and that's about it cheers